Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. In today's video we're going to take a look at the trailer section of an original G1 Optimus Prime and see why Hasbro and Takara thought that uh, different parts of the world could only manage different types of firing mechanisms and different sort of ferocities of firing mechanisms. Uh, the Japanese one being much more vicious than the US and UK one. So first up in front of me here this is a UK release uh, Optimus Prime with his trailer and in the background you can see my Japanese box version which is an original uh, G1 uh, convoy uh, version of Optimus Prime. So let's get them out of the boxes and I'll show you the two differences that you will have on this uh, trailer section. So here we have the two trailers. This one at the front here is the US UK release and the one at the back is the Japanese Takara issue. Now initially it looks like there's no differences. There's a slight difference in the plastic used on the UK US release. It's slightly darker. The uh, Japanese Takara issue is slightly more metallic. But there is one big issue which has always bugged me and it's something that is very easy to change if you want to. As you see here we have roller put in the little launch section. If I press the button on the back, it's a little bit flaky on this one, but I could do it, he will fire out like so. And as you can see, he doesn't fire very far and the launch mechanism only mo moves a short distance. Now if I fire out the Takara issue one at the back, let me do that. Uh, again, this one's a little bit fiddly, but I will fire it. As you can see, roller is absolutely shot out of uh, the back of that truck and the firing mechanism has moved considerably further. Now what's happened is the, uh, for some reason, the Hasbro version, they thought that this firing mechanism was just too vicious and too, uh, just sort of fired too fast and so they put a little limiter in and on the Japanese Takara issue that isn't a problem and they've allowed it to fire its full distance. So if we take this apart I'll show you how to modify the Hasbro release to make it fire like the original Takara issue. First up we need to take this toy apart and luckily as with all vintage G1 uh, transformers it's fairly straightforward. There are a couple of screws on the bottom that you just need to undo and this should release uh, this top sort of firing mechanism section. So let's get those unscrewed and we can get the uh, mechanism off. So you'll just need a Phillips head screwdriver and it should unscrew. Let me get my little pot here to put the screws in so that I don't lose them. So once you've removed those two screws the uh, top part of the firing mechanism can be taken away. You then need to turn the vehicle over and unscrew the four screws that are located at sort of either end and that will remove the sort of the underside section of uh, the vehicle and give you access to the sort of bottom section of the firing mechanism. There is a spring here that is uh, located onto one end of the firing pin and hooks onto this bottom panel and then obviously you've got the uh, small set of wheels that you move. And here is where you'll find the bit of plastic that stops the mechanism firing fully. And if you notice uh, there's a small tab on the underside here and when the mechanism is fired it shoots forward and is stopped by that tab. So what we've got to do is carefully cut that tab off and then this mechanism will fire how Takara intended. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and then we can put this back together and you'll see the difference. I have a small pair of plastic cutters. You can buy these from most model shops and I'm just going to use these to carefully nip uh, this bit of plastic off. It should come off quite easily because normally the plastic's quite soft. So there you go. I can trim that away. It's that simple. Uh, actually that feels quite flush. Normally if there was a little bit left I would use a scalpel just to soften that down but that actually feels pretty good. So if I just put the mechanism back in like so, I've just got to check that it doesn't catch on anything. It's catching a little bit so I think I will just uh, carefully sort of cut that down with a scalpel uh, and then we can put this ship back together. So that now feels pretty good. It's, uh, it's not catching on anything so we can go ahead and put this back together. Uh, putting it back is fairly straightforward. You just have to remember to hook things on the right way. So uh, this spring needs to hook on one end of uh, this firing mechanism like so. And then the other end needs to hook on, as you can see here, there is a, a hook section on the underside part of the truck. So we can just hook that on like so. Uh, and then it sort of goes back under tension. You've got to just clip one end in here and then the rest sort of fits in quite straightforward. Uh, it's not under too much tension so it's actually quite easy to do this uh, and then we can just put the sort of wheels and bits back on and screw them in place. So let's get this all back together and I'll show you the modified firing mechanism. So here we have Optimus Prime's trailer section all back together and you wouldn't actually know anything had been done to it but if I now press the button on the back and you know, fire roll it out you'll see he now fires 
with considerable force, actually almost too much force, it looks a little bit scary. Uh, but you can see that the mechanism now fires at the full distance that it's supposed to. So it's a very simple thing to change and if you want your toy to be more like the original Takara issue, this is what you have to do. I have no idea why uh, the uh, Japanese children are trusted with a much more vicious firing mechanism than uh, UK and US children are, but it seems that uh, us foreigners can't be trusted with these dangerous weapons but for you know a small amount of work you can actually make it do what it's supposed to do and it's a lot more vicious and probably a lot more fun so i hope that's been of interest to you and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy Poloi. subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy Poloi on twitter and facebook